If you've just fractured your wrist, then you're probably going to be in an emergency room or an urgent care centre. Once the fracture has been confirmed on x-ray, then you'll usually be put into a basic cast to keep the fracture still and then given painkillers. Depending on the severity and position of the fracture, you might be treated immediately or you might be sent home and asked to come back and see the orthopaedic team in a few days. A decision will then be made as to whether the fracture is treated in a cast or whether the bones are fixed surgically using a plate and screws. The decision is usually made depending on the position of the fracture. If it's stable and in a reasonable position then it's best treated in a cast but if it's unstable or in a poor position then it will be treated surgically as you would otherwise end up with a wrist deformity if the bones go on to heal in the wrong position. Distal radius fractures which have healed in this way may lead to the classical dinner fork deformity. If your fracture is treated in a cast then the only job you have for the four to six weeks it's on for is to keep it dry and to keep the fingers, elbow and shoulder moving in order to prevent stiffness. A few times a day you should be wiggling the free joints of your fingers and your thumb, bending and straightening your elbow fully and turning your palm up and down. About 10 times each will do. You then need to be lifting your arm up overhead and out to the side, behind your head and behind your back. Again about 10 times each will be plenty. If your neck muscles feel a bit tight and achy then side to side bending and rotation movements can be helpful.